what start of a new year. I'm looking forward to this. What are we working on now? What, what's the Loving Dubai editorial team up to? In our office, we have 12 nationalities, so we want to look at the melting pot of cultures in Dubai, how people celebrate their national holidays, if they celebrate their national holidays. What we were, about that? We were thinking of Australia Day. Okay, cool. Why don't, we, why don't we look at that then? Good luck. Go out there, celebrate it. I hope you have some fun. When is Australia Day? 26? Saturday 26, yeah, going to be to Maltese. Okay, enjoy, Casey. <laughs> So we're here at Surf House. Surfing is obviously a huge part of Australian culture and Surf House is the home of surfing in Dubai. So we're going to go and see if we can find some Aussies. Thanks for chatting to us. Yeah, um, no problem. So you have such yeah. a unique background. Yeah. What's your cultural and national day? I think the great thing is you can kind of celebrate all of it. Um, you know, I don't just have one particular that, that we celebrate. We're actually having an event here for Aussie Day on Saturday um, at the Surf House. So we're having an open mic where um, you know, we'll have bands playing and, and musicians coming down. Um, so yeah, we, we you know we like to celebrate all um, National Day, um, Aussie Day. Anyone that you know coming in and out that's celebrating in an interesting way? Do you know anyone that we can speak to? Um, yeah, there's a really good uh, candidate, uh, Leith Matthews, uh, who owns the Akin Barber Shop. He's he's an Aussie from uh, the Sunshine Coast, um, and I think he'd be a perfect person to talk to. Cool. You know, like you said, there are a lot of opportunities here for people to open their own things. Well, it's amazing to see. It's, uh, it's like a home away from home. It feels really cozy as soon as yeah. you walk in. So thank you cool. for chatting to us. Thanks a lot. Lovely to meet you. And we might see cool. you here for Aussie Day. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. I'm good, thanks. What are you up to? We found Dan, who's the co-owner here. He is not Aussie himself, but he's been here. He grew up in Bahrain, studied in Dubai, then went studying in Australia for five years. And then he came back to launch Surf House. So it's like a little slice of Aussie culture here. Really, really cool. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Hey, it's going. It's Casey from Love and Dubai. How are you? Good, thank you. Um, yeah, so we're here for the show. We want to talk a little bit about Aussie culture. Do you have a few minutes of your time? Absolutely, sounds great. Just like as a, as a, a day, how do you t spend a day in Dubai that you have a day off with the family? Does it mimic days at home that you have free? Yeah, I think it does mimic it. Yeah, we, um, you know, we spend, as I said, a lot of time at the beach, we, you know, which, is, which is a huge part of Australian culture. Is, you know, we have most of our living is around the coastline. So, um, so we definitely do that a lot. And that's sort of... That's what makes me feel most at home. Um, going to the beach with the kids and you know having barbecues and all that sort of thing, and listening to Australian th songs like uh, you know John Farnham or In Excess or some of these old bands. Okay. Have you ever celebrated a different culture here in Dubai? I mean, like so many nationalities here. People celebrate St Patrick's Day, Oktoberfest, Holy um, Eid. Like, have you ever taken part in another culture? Um, yeah, I guess I have. Yeah, with you know St Paddy's Day, definitely Bastille Day. You know, these are the types of ones that we sort of. My, my family um, have some French heritage and some Irish heritage, so those days we definitely uh, you know, meet some friends and family and get together and you know, go to one of the events that's happening around Dubai, that's uh, always the case. And tell me, so National Day is coming up on Saturday 26, are any of your venues doing anything to celebrate or what's, the, what's the your plan? Yeah, so uh, our business is we're doing, uh, we're doing a bit of a backyard party at Brunswick, uh, which is my pub. So basically, um, yeah, we're going to be playing some big old, old Aussie tunes. As I said, John Farnham and NXS and uh, um, Jimmy Barnes and these types of guys, which are all the, all the Aussie anthems that we like to call them. So uh, we'll be playing all of those and doing some uh, little Aussie sort of games and serving some Aussie food, which would be really cool. Um, Tom and Serge actually will be doing, uh, we're giving away some free coffees for all Australian residents. Oh, um, uh, or citizens rather. So yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. How do you prove you're Aussie? Uh, well, you've got to bring down some form of identif identification <laughs> or just give us a good old g'day. <laughs> good old g'day, like yeah. a real strong one. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> So we're on our way to JBR to meet Leith. Uh, he's an entrepreneur in Dubai. He has two cool barbershops. And he's the guy that Dan from Surf Shop told us about. And yeah, he said he has a few minutes, so we'll chat to him. Hello. Oh, hey. Hey, how's it going? Uh, Casey from London Dubai, Leith. Yes. Hey, nice to meet you. How are you? How's it going? Hey. This is a really cool space you have. I like it. Yeah, thank you. So you're Aussie. Yes. What has it been like creating it, Kin? Uh, my experience with uh, Dubai has definitely been one of sort of um, looking at uh, opportunities or things that were were here or were not here. Mm -hmm. um, and one thing that uh, it wasn't super obvious to me at the beginning, but it became um, was that uh, I was uh, short of a place to get a haircut. So uh, it was. It came from a, from a yeah, personal uh, personal need, um, and then when the idea came to to open a shop, and I saw saw, saw some great examples uh, around the world, um, it seemed like a very 
very obvious thing to get to go ahead and, uh, and try to do. Yeah. How does it compare to Aussie Day here? Um, so I've lived in a few different uh, countries and um, Australian Day is always celebrated everywhere I go. Um, and Dubai is no different, um, except it's a bit sort of similar because of the weather. I mean, we are on the coastline, so just like Australia, yeah. Totally. You could be at the beach, you could be at Barasti, you could be at uh, the surf house, you could be uh, anywhere, you know, for these places. And um, so, yeah. It's just like home. Yeah, pretty much. Exactly. Cool. Well, thank you so much for your time. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to see the shop. Thank you so much. So it's the eve of Australian National Day, we're at Bushman's on Dubai Palm Jumeirah and we're about to go inside to meet the Australian Business Council to see what it's like to be an Aussie in Dubai. We came here um, uh, not quite sure what we were going to do and we thought we might stay for a couple of years but we very quickly found that to your question about why it is that people stay here, it's a very familiar place for Australians, it's warm and sunny, it's a beachy culture. It's quite close to home for us relative to Europe. There's a big Australian expat community here, so it does feel very familiar and, and, and it's a, a very easy place for Australians to make a life. Yes, Casey, look, I've only been here for five months and uh, Australia Day, which is on tomorrow, exactly. we are so looking forward to it. And I know across, across Dubai tonight and tomorrow, there's many Australia Day celebrations. So I know some of the people in uh, the concert team are taking their families to the beach to play cricket with the children. Uh, having a traditional barbecue with uh, steak and sausages and bread and probably some Vegemite sandwiches as well. How's the shoot going? Like it was a lot of mixture of ages and we talked to people from kind of all different types of businesses, people who've been here for 10 years. It's, I think it's a celebration. It's the night before Australia Day. They're celebrating good meat, Australian meat. They're celebrating good drinks. Um, yeah, it's just a really good atmosphere. They have some live music starting now. And uh, yeah, they're all just talking about what their plans are for tomorrow. Happy Australia Day, we're in Barasti and it feels like the whole of Dubai is out here to celebrate. Try to find some people who have come here just for today, just for Aussie Day Dubai. Where are you guys from first of all? I'm from Perth in Western Australia. And yourself, where are you from? South Africa. Oh no, you're from Australia. Yeah. Okay. Australian. Where in Australia are you from? Perth. Good. These uh, lovely fine outfits you see have come from the $2 shop in, uh, in Perth. Amazing. Yep, so yeah, I thought I'd kid out the family while I'm here so we can all celebrate in style together. And did you bring these costumes over just for Aussie Day? Especially for Aussie Day, just for today. Have you celebrated Aussie Day before in Dubai? Yeah, we're here for supporting her. We're meeting so many people out there, it's like one Aussie and then everyone else is from all over. I don't know, it's a little... What do you call these? Sweat that. You need this in Dubai for the weather. Woo. Feeling good? Happy Aussie Day everyone! <laughs> Barasti is pumping! I love how uh, Barasti just goes so crazy. There's flags everywhere. I think like thousands of tiny little Aussie flags. So picturesque. Uh, happy Australia Day. Where in Australia are you from? From Sydney. And are you living in Dubai? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Been here for seven years. Well, Australian. She's Macedonian Australian. We watched the pie eating competition and the um, thong throwing into the esky. So you don't get much more Australian than that, so I don't think. I did a red Australian colour. So, Big Rossi, where are you, where are you from? Uh, I'm from England, but I've got a lot of uh, knowledge about Australia. I've got relatives in Australia. I've worked in loads of Australian-themed uh, restaurants, uh, and I work with some annoying Australi Australian by the name of Chris Fade. So I know everything about Australia. And what brings you out for Aussie Day today? Uh, I'm just hosting down here at Barasti. We're doing some really cool games. We've had a pie eating competition. We've had a lamington eating competition. We're about to do a tug of war competition right now, and then we're going to finish off uh, with another pie eating competition. So yeah, it's great. The vibe down here is good. We've got people having a good time. It's been it's been really fantastic. Amazing. Thanks for your time. See you soon. This is Australia Day in Dubai. We have met people from all over the world celebrating, and now we're going to join the party. Hey, Kate. Hey, how are you? Good, good. How's the weekend? Um, we went to Barasti. Oh yeah, yeah. For Aussie Day. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's a Dubai thing. Did you capture that Aussie culture in Dubai? Like, absolutely. We spoke to people from anywhere and everywhere. And um, Barasti was kind of the perfect one because it was people from all over celebrating Australia Day in their own unique way mm. and it was madness at the same time. But yeah. now it was so good to see. We spoke to Aussies, but they're 
to buy a fight Aussies, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They'll still do the kind of the nice family day things, you know? Yeah. It's still about going to the beach, still about going to barbecue, but yet you're doing it with about four other nationalities. Yeah. You have other people joining your day. A tough one to start with, but <laughs> it, it sounds good. I'm looking forward to kind of seeing the next few episodes. Yeah, I'm looking forward to on. exploring all sorts of different cultures, national days, see what people do here, okay, see cool. how it changes from their home.